getting strong, but you're picking up nagging injuries. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I got a question from a viewer who says, hey, I'm doing everything right. I'm building strength, I'm building muscle, I'm getting strong, but things are starting to hurt. I'm picking up nagging injuries. I want to discuss this because this is something that happens to any lifter that is dedicated. Before I get into this topic, if you have a question or comment, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions, the best questions I turn into videos just like this. Oh, I got some itchy going on there. I hope I don't sneeze on you. All right, so a subscriber to the channel says, hey, big, hairy, ugly dude, big, hairy, ugly dude, that's me. I'm getting stronger, I'm getting bigger, but I'm starting to pick up injuries. This is a normal thing, and it's something I've talked about indirectly in other videos. The muscle building, the strength building pro, oh, what's going on with my nose? Oh. The muscle and strength building process, as you start out as a beginner, you experience neuromuscular adaptation, neuromuscular gains, where you're seeing a strength increase, but it's mostly a neuromuscular adaptation. Um, you're becoming more efficient. Your, your central nervous system is becoming more efficient at dealing with the demands you're placing on your body. You, you pick up some strength, in, uh, you know, mostly neuromuscular, and then as a beginner, you'll start to build strength and muscle at a regular pace. And somewhere along the line, as an intermediate, you're doing, you're, you're keeping the same amount of volume you did before, the same amount of reps and sets and whatever, but the weight is heavier, so you're using a greater tonnage. What's tonnage, big, hairy, ugly dude? All right, let's say you do three sets of 10 on the bench press. That's 30 reps. Let's say you start out with 100 pounds. Let's say as a noob, you can do three sets of 10 with 100 pounds. Three times 10 is 30. 3 times 10 is 30, that's how many reps you're doing, times 100 pounds, that's 3,000 tonnage, 3,000 tonnage. Let's say over the course of a year, you move from 3 sets of 10 for 100 pounds to 3 sets of 10 for 200 pounds, you've doubled the tonnage. So you're doing the same amount of reps. When you started out, you were doing a total tonnage of 3,000 pounds, now you're doing a total tonnage of 6,000 pounds. And if you think about that, you're putting more stress. That's like, that's like weight you're putting on your head. It's trying to destroy you. It's trying to crush you on your chest or whatever. You're doing this on every exercise you do. You're placing a greater amount of stress, not just on your muscles, but on your central nervous system, on your connective tissue, on your bones. It's going to be more difficult to recover. You can start to pick up strains and pains. So here's what the deal is. You go into the gym and you start to pick up a lot of strains and pains because you're going balls out. You just got these big, juicy testicles, these big, juicy testicles because you're building muscle and strength. You're looking like the big, hairy, ugly dude. Women or men, if that's your preference, are just falling at your knees and saying, you have big, juicy testicles like the big, hairy, ugly dude. I love you. I love you. So you're going into the gym. You're going into the gym. I'm being facetious, kids. Facetious. You're going into the gym and you're going balls out on every set. You're trying to go balls of the wall, making every set count. And you're trying to add weight. You're trying to progress, progress, progress. And you're starting to pick up these nagging injuries. This is the point in your training where you need to consider some sort of periodization. The alternating, the the fluctuation of intensity. You could have a heavier week and a volume week, or you could have a volume week and a rest pause week. There needs to be some variance of volume or intensity. Intensity is the weight relative to your one rep max. So you, can, you might want to periodize or do a four week cycle, like something like Wendler's 531. Um, you might want to have a heavy week and a lighter week where you do higher reps or cycle exercise. You might do bench press one week and then maybe just a bench press, you know, five rep sets one week. And then the next week, you might want to do dumbbell bench press for 15 rep sets. So you're kind of cycling the intensity, cycling the exercises. There's no real exact cookie cutter template for how you do this, but it is at this point where you need to start taking the messages that your body is sending to you seriously and you need to make training 
adjustments or else you're going to pick up injuries that might take you out of the game longer. Now it is at this point that I don't generally advocate deloads like randomly scheduling a deload week or an off week because hey, I like to go to the motherfucking gym. That's what I like to do. I'm obsessed about lifting weights. So people will ask, hey, big, hairy, ugly dude, should I just take a deload week? It is at this point where you need to start being more intuitive. I don't recommend taking a just, oh, my God, my body feels awful. I'm going to take a complete week off of training. Maybe just go light for a while or maybe start incorporating light and heavy workouts or maybe work if something's really bad. Don't just say I'm going to take a whole week off of training. Take an extra day or two or three and then see how you feel. When you feel good, come back into the gym. Listen to your body. Take extra rest days as needed and then come back to the gym when you feel good. It is essential when you become an intermediate lifter that you listen to your body and learn to make uh, changes. Learn to evolve your training. Don't just be slow, be mentally slow and say, I'm just going to take a week off of training because my right nipple hurt a little bit. You know, when that right nipple hurt, I think I'm just going to take a day low week. You know what I'm saying? No, just don't do that. Don't do that. Just listen to your body, make adjustments, periodize in some form or fashion, and uh, you'll be good. So that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. At some point, if you're doing things right as an intermediate lifter, you're going to have to listen to your vo- your training or you have to listen to your body and evolve your training based on needs. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is a different type of drive through. When you drive to work and the proteins pull up to your window,